Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Same shirt. Hirsch Bivouac Bourbon. Almost our second go around with this one. Oh, yeah. The first one had quite the fall. Ooh, what are we going to do? Test it! Oh, that was impressive. We're going to test it. Hirsch Bourbon style. <laughs> All right, we're in. Wait, so okay, we're question playing. up front. Question yes. up front. Ooh, it's unbroken. Yes. Dustin, I was in the store. This yes. is Hirsch Bivouac. Yes. Dustin goes, what, what's Bivouac mean? Yes. I knew it. Camp. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. Camp. Well, it's an outdoor, outdoor excursion right. kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you set like up a, the bivouac. I, I remember that from the military. military. Yeah. yeah. From Yeah, you were yeah. on bivouac. That's or right. You had a bivouac this weekend. That's right. Yeah, it means you're going out. So, <laughs> what's if a you bivouac? don't know... We can say, we didn't even have to do research on that one. Right. No, it's got to be French, though. I, I'm surprised you remember. You were you were quick. It took oh, me a few more seconds. I was like, I was like bivouac. Mm -hmm. what, I had to think. I was like, I know if that's familiar. It's military. Bivouac. Yes. Yep. I remember going on bivouac. Oh, yeah. A lot of bivouacking. <laughs> <laughs> a lot Synthetic. of. Synthetic. Only on the Scotch Test Dummies <laughs> can you do a lot, a lot of, of bivouacking, baby. <laughs> now it sounds dirty. They're like, I know. It's dirty. Whacking the, sounds whacking the biv. That sounds so so wrong. <laughs> Come on over uh, here. I got a What do we got here? We got I can see a little chart here on the back. This is 50% ABV. Wow. Uh do, do, do Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We have uh oh, we've got a ratio here. 90 95% of this uh -oh. is 3 years and 2 months old. 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. Mm, good. Nice. I like it. 5% of this is 8 years old, 72% corn, 13% rye, and 15% malted barley. Goodness, they're confusing me. Corn fusing me. It's an, it's an older whiskey with more barley and a younger whiskey with less barley. Interesting. It smells dusty to me. Dusty with a little bit of what is that? It's just dusty barn, like an old barn wood. Kind of kind of a light nose. Yeah. I'm right in there though. Be sweet, sweet corn. You get that dusty? Yeah, a little bit of dusty. I like it. I feel like I'm in an old and New Hampshire barn. Not dusty from the old George Strait movie. Nope. That was a good one though. What was that called? I was just thinking the same thing. Because Dusty name was goes Dusty. rogue. Yeah, he runs off in mid-tour. What, what was the name of that? I know. It's it's like uh and then Susan Sar Sarah Susan, Sarandon was Susan. His, Susan Sarandon. Yeah. Yeah. Was Sarah's his manager. Sister. No, yeah. I said Susan. Oh, so, I think. I think switched it. Yeah, and then they had the Sarah. young fella try to play him with a lot of shadows. Yeah. And, yeah. Kept the light off of him. Yeah. <laughs> Which was crazy. That wouldn't work at all. <laughs> <You're> like, what? <laughs> Vanilla and caramel. <laughs> yeah, put the name of the movie down in the comments. We've got to know. You've got to know. Hmm. <sighs> Dang, I'm searching. I trying to At 50%, it out. I expected uh, the nose doesn't come off as 50%. Let's say that. Right. I'm I give it a little honey, maybe. Yeah. A little honey in there. That was, I think that's the sweetness. I was yeah. getting lighter, honeyed sweetness. Hmm. So, little little disappointed by the nose here. We'll see what the palate does. This is the one he dropped mm. about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not this one. This is the type that was dropped. Mm -hmm. So, you've replaced mm -hmm. Hirsch. Mm. Palate makes up for the nose. Palate yeah. is nice. Almost, okay. almost feels like a weeded bourbon. Yeah. Weeded will bring okay. out more of that kind of honey, get, okay. citrusy sweetness, and we've got that here. Hmm. Um, I'm getting anyway. like a uh, kettle corn. Yeah, last time I was coming over, uh, we mentioned it in one of the videos. The box, the mm. bottom of the box fell out. They fell on my floor. The Hirsch bourbon we lost was a complete loss. Complete. Uh, try to get a picture in there. Yeah, should be sliding in. So now. I picked it up <clears throat> again. Carefully. Yep. <laughs> um, not a lot of depth. I, uh, I'm still sticking with uh, initially here. First sip, it feels like a weeded bourbon. It's lighter. It's sweeter. There's yeah, no weed little, in it by the two mash bills. Yeah, 
I got a little bit of a cardboard note, but then that sweet honey kind of slid in. And I think I'm picking up a little bit of that barley. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a dough flavor in the finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Kind of doughy cinnamon rolls up front. Mm. Cinnamon. Yeah. Okay, second sip, definitely better. Maybe that first sip was just getting it soaked into the palate. Mm -hmm. Second sip does seem richer. Still doesn't feel like a spicy rye bourbon. It still feels... Mm, well, no, taking that back. In the finish, you get a little spice. Oh, yeah, I was gonna, that's what I was just going to say. Yeah. yeah. But that's where it shows up. It wasn't, it's not there until like five to ten seconds into the finish. You want a little water? Well, I'm going to do one more sip okay. of meat. I'm, gonna right, do I'm that. ready. I'm ready. I've got the ampule ready to fire with the shot. Bam. Look at that. Oh, you want two? Hold on. We're coming in for another one. And cacao. Cacao, which is what I call chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> cacao bean. <laughs> um, so, uh, all right. Mm. This is... Yeah, I like, the, uh, I like that that uh, pepperiness kind of came in in the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives it a little transition there. Really, though, still up That's front like and through it, it still feels like a weeded bourbon. It's lighter, it's sweeter, citrusy, honeys, See, I get a little more caramels. than my weeded, though. I'm not picking Sometimes. up on the floor. Sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. But yeah, and then on the end, even now, I'm getting more spicy. Um, mm -hmm. I'll go pepper, peppery spice. So, sometimes it is, you know, it's like fresh ground black pepper right. or the white pepper or a cayenne pepper or something like that. Um, I'll say probably black pepper, pepper spicy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a neat little dance there, though. I like transitions. I'm a big, big fan of when that whiskey kind of moves around and surprises you and does different things. This is doing that. So, hmm. No wonder. It's like a bivouac. It's like the weather's rolling in. Huh. <laughs> what? No, I mean, uh, your bivouac. I don't yeah. know about that. It's more like, was it was this designed to take on a bivouac? Well, why, well, why would the name bivouac be Well, it is the bivouac. Play? So, the bivouac, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. There's no story about why they call it the bivouac. So, it definitely didn't handle the drop. I wouldn't want to take mm. it on a bivouac. Yeah. Ooh. What did right. you get there? But it's still, I mean, it's. I think it's opening up a little bit with a healthy drop of water that I had you put on it for oh, 50%. There's a story on the back of the label. You can't read through the liquid. It still feels, um, it's, it's, it's very nice. I think the finish might even be a little bit better with water. But still feels lighter, citrusy, honeyed sweetness up front through the mid-palate and then finish peppery, spicy. If I don't jiggle which is hard for me to do in 1974 when A.H. Hirsch first imagined his legendary bourbon. He set a goal and then there's just a long story, but there's an explorer in there. That must be where the bivouac. We believe the world is full of possibilities and then there's more stuff. But I bet you that's where the bivouac came from. There's a whole story on the back of that label. I was going to say, maybe they're saying you could take it camping with you, but really any whiskey you can take camping with you. Uh, he, he, it he, would be good by a I campfire. That's, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can definitely pour that by the campfire. Now I want to have a campfire <laughs> while you're out of town. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. Um... It's interesting though. It's not in like my, I'm not getting, so on bourbons, I like the brown sugar sweetness. I'm not really mm. getting that here. Yeah. It's, it's more of the rye influence with a little bit of rising dough, which is I think what's interesting me from the barley, if I were to guess. I'm going to give it an 86. I feel like I'm in the same. I was, I was debating now. 86, 87. It's good. I like it. it even, is good. The thing is though, even when you look at the color, yeah. that doesn't look like a bourbon. It's pretty light. It's a little bourbon too. Yeah. Well, that might the be the label. label. But I mean. <laughs> I don't know. What are you get, getting ready to grab here? I was going to grab Look at this. Just here's grab a, a bourbon. Here's a Nulu. Nulu right there. That's a single cast. But yeah. You, okay. So it is darker. This looks a little light. For, <laughs> get that out. You threw that. That's a nice comparison. That was a good one. Uh, 
It does look a there's little a bit bourbon. lighter. <laughs> yeah, there's a bourbon. Style. Texas style, baby. With so, you know, where's the color? Bourbon has to be, you know, brand new virgin charred oak. Right. This almost looks like, and almost tastes like it's a refill barrel. It, it shouldn't be. I mean, it's a bourbon, Can't so it be. should be first Can't fill be. barrel. But where's the color? Can't where's the depth? Where's that brown sugar? You know, so... All right. I think if that were there, it would be a higher score. Mm, interesting. Um, still not bad, though. I like it. Uh, nice taste. Um, first Hirsch whiskey we've done. $55. Mm. It's interesting. Not bad. Yeah. So, I like that it's out there. I'll have to read the story later. Find out what old Mr. Hirsch was up to. He's got a sextant. That's a sextant on the front there. So... I actually do like this. I'll go 87. I was debating 86, 87. I'll go 87. Oh, I'm sticking. Even sitting here with water. I do like this with water. I think it kind of opened it up, made it a little bit more viscous, a oh, little viscous. bit more. When you sit at the campfire, I just, I, I, I agree. This toasted, feels like something I would Now pour. toasted marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, go to, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up coins, barrel caps, glasses, shirts, hats, hats all kinds hats. of stuff to help support the show. It keeps the lights on, keeps the whiskey coming. To hats. You can also go to Patreon and look up Scotch Test Dummies. That's an old throwback. Yes, it is. It is. You can support for as little as a dollar a month. Who wouldn't want to do that? But if you do $2, we'll shout your name with gusto on the show. Please make us shout with gusto. Scotch it. You, Scotch Gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Ooh.